Hello, this is Paul from Fossil Tech. In this lecture, I was going to introduce a very important rule in probability. We call the multiplication rule. And they use this rule, we can solve a, a complicated prob probability questions by step by step calculation. So everyone, so multiplication rule stays uh, summarized here. Uh, suppose we have uh, two steps, okay, A and the B. So usually we will say this, and that the experiments uh, cover two steps. The first step is A, and then going to the events B in the second step. Okay, it means uh, the first step A happened, and then B in the second step happened. So it's uh, two steps, right? So usually this we call the two steps. Okay, and they have two cases. If it's independent events, I mean uh, the second step like B is depend so independent to A. And uh, in this way, for independent, uh, we just uh, do multiplication directly. And for B, we use uh, normal probability. In this way, it's normal probability. It's one probability, the first step times the probability of the second step. Okay, look at uh, one a little difference. For dependent case, okay, if it's dependent case, this time the probability for B is not normal. It's called a conditional probability, right? This we call the conditional probability. And usually we call it is the probability of B given A. Means what? The outcome of A will affect the probability for B, right? We discussed this dependent case last class. Okay, so look at it. And a comma, okay, so you can see a pattern. No matter is independent or dependent. So we just uh, multiplication, right? The first step probability times the second probability. The first probability times the sep second probability. For dependent case, the second probability is conditional. How do you do calculation for conditional probability? Okay, so I summarize here the big one, the big idea. So the big idea just tell you you just uh, reduce the sample space, okay, by giving information of a. Um, let's look at one example. Suppose we have this, we have two cars are picked from a deck of car, 52, a deck of 52 cars. Without the replacement, without means what? The last, the last topic we said without is a dependent, right? So this time is D, uh, dependent. This time is dependent. If it's dependent, that means what? The first step will affect the second step. So I look at it. Uh, if the first step probability is uh, the first step get a red, I means the first pick you get a red car. Without a replace, okay, and then for the second step you get a black car, okay. The, this example is from the last uh, lectures. So look at it. What do we need to do? We need to uh, find the conditional probability. What is the conditional probability of of B given A? So if we look at it. Do you remember last class? Um, suppose A, the first step we already pick a red car, and uh, without a replace. So we look at the second step now, the sample space is no longer 52. It's no longer, we have a 52 outcomes, is only 51 cars left. Why? Because the first step you pick one, and they don't put it back. See. This 51 is less than the original 52, right? This we call the sample space reduced. Reduce the sample space because it's only 50 car left. Okay, and at the top of course this is uh, this is the successor outcome, successful outcome. Why it's 26? Because we want to get the black. How many black are left? We still have 26 left because the first step get red, so we still have 26 left. See, look at it. The result is 26 black out of 51 total. That's the conditional probability, okay? Um, the major ones there remind you is a reduce the sample space. Just reduce the sample space. Now I have a few examples, okay? So to guide you developer, so which formula to use and how to use the formula. The first big idea, no matter which case, they okay, always multiply, multiply, okay? And if you determine is dependent case, B 
be sure to use conditional probability means reduce the example space. That that's all we need to pay attention. Now I'm look at the first example. Uh, suppose this we flip a coin, and then, okay, and then raw uh, normal die like a six size normal die. Okay, if we have two uh, events, the first uh, you want to get a half, flip get a half, and then going to raw die get a number five. This is also from the previous questions. And how do you find this? How do you find the probability A and B? Okay. A and B means what? Two steps. Okay. So first, no matter how many, okay, no matter which case, always the first probability times the second. However, the second sometimes is normal probability. Sometimes it's a conditional probability. Depends. B is dependent on A or independent on A. So for this case, everyone knows, right? We see this. First, uh, you fill up a flip a coin. No matter which results, you never affect the second outcome. Okay, no relationship means what? First uh, is independent. Independent, right? Means B independent on A. And um, this is very important, okay? So this tells you what? Tells you later you have to use no more probability. You have to use no more probability for the second step. So uh, we're going to use the formula now. Is probability A and B. Multiplication, remember multiplication means the first probability times this we call the multiplication rule times the probability, this time is exactly B. Okay, normal probability, normal probability we see the second. This time normal probability. Okay, and uh, is normal probability, it's a classical model, right? It's just a classical model we can. So, classical model, we're going to get the probability A and get the probability B. B. What is the probability A? We only focus on the first step. First step, what do you need to get? Flip a coin, you get a, a head, of course. How many a head? One. How many in total? Two. Okay, it's one half. The second step, flip a, a no, roll a die, you want to get number five. Number five is only one number. Success is only one. The total is six because we have a number one, two, six. Okay, and then times them together. See, and this is the first. And uh, can we look at the second question? We're going to find the probability of uh, running five successive twos. Okay, with the five rows of a fair die means what? See, I have a die here. It's one die, and the five rows means row one, row two, row three, row four, row five, row five times. Um, in this case, we say it's five steps, right? Your experiments cover five steps. Uh, our multiplication, no multiplication rule, no matter how many steps, always works, okay? It's just uh, use the probability times together. So, first, so we see it's five steps, right? We already did, okay? So I would say here is a row five times five steps. How many? Five steps. Uh, each step is independent. Why? We know a die. The first time, no matter what the results, never affected the second time. No relationship. The same. Second time never affected the third time. That means uh, independent. Definitely the easiest. Independent means more what? Normal probability. Okay. Means uh, normal probability for. The second step, the third, each other steps, normal probability. Okay, and then we're going to use the probability, uh, the multiplication rule. Okay, the multiplication this time is this. Uh, I'll put it here. The probability, we say this probability, what we are going to multiplication rule. Okay, so I put this set up. First the probability times the second, times the third, times the fourth time the fifth five step right okay and also each step is a normal probability what no 
what is the first step mean the first step mean the first uh, you need to roll two right the first day you get two the first step you get two this means the second step still uh, get two this is the third step you also get two the fourth step uh, um, I said the fourth step okay you still get uh, two the last the fifth step the fifth step uh, is still get two okay now what are we going to do is normal property independent to each other so the first day is just a uh, raw a die get a two what is the property classic model one well, um so yes raw uh raw a die okay so normal die is a one two six now you want to get the two which means uh, one success how many in total six in total right okay so did the first and uh, if you put the little information, how did we get this? That's a classic model. It's a classic model. One out of six. Okay. And then how about the second step? Second step is still one die. Okay. Nothing related to the first step and to the third step, right? So it's only one die. One die is going to roll. So still get the two. Still a classic model. One out of six. You don't need to reduce the sample space, right? Because it's no more probability. And then the third, the third is the same, and the fourth is the same, and the fifth is also the same. See, that each step has a one sixth probability, and then to calculation is a one out of six put to the power of five, right? Okay, so you can do. Uh, I was going to do the. The calculation let me get the answer so wait a little so if you want to do one out of uh, six is to the power of five okay so we get a very small number if we use the uh, decimal is like this is point zero 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 one two a six whatever is very very small right okay if uh, the questions ask you for fraction we also can get a fraction okay like uh, everyone you know the math right so fraction then we can do fractions we has also can write it down okay a fraction or a fraction you can do this I put a fraction here or probably if you need the fraction some questions ask you for fraction and this is what this is a one over six raised to the fifth power. What is a one? What is a six raised to, raised to the sixth power? Is a six raised to the fifth power? To calculation, I get a big number: seven thousand seven hundred seventy-six. Okay, and the probably some question ask you for fraction. Then use this. If they use the decimal, you directly use the decimal. Okay, so this one. So, okay, look at the one more. So, this time, find the probability of uh, correctly answering the first four questions on a multiple choice test. Okay, if uh, you randomly guess, randomly guess means what? This is a classic model. Randomly means each answer has the same probability to be picked by you, right? This is just to say is a classic. It's a classic model. Okay, later we need to use. Uh, each question has three possible answer: A, B, C. One correct, two wrong. Right. So how many chances you can guess correctly? One correct out of three. So that's for one questions. However, this time we have four questions. Okay, means what? The first question after you guess and then going to guess the second and then going to guess the third and then going to guess the fourth questions four steps right so we can see here is a uh, first is a four steps so how about the step the relationship between step and the step of course it's totally independent right because you never know anything about the, the answer just a random guess the first answer, no matter is correct or not correct, you never affected the second guess. 
which means uh, independent. You can get this information, okay, from the last topic we discussed. So now we use the multiplication rule. What does it mean? So the probability equals one. The first step, the second step, times the third step, times the fourth step. Okay. Um, so make sure independent that means you have to use the normal probability. Okay, for each step, be sure it's not a reduced the number space because it's independent. So now uh, uh, it's a fourth step. Uh, let me see, it's a fourth step, right? Okay, exactly four questions. Okay, what is the first? Means the first uh, correct, right? We simply say the first step you guess correct. And uh, this is the probability for the second step uh, you guess uh, also correct. So this should be the third step uh, you guess correct. See? And uh, this is the last, the fourth step you guess also correct what the probability we are going to do uh, three possible answer one correct right so one out of three is your chance to get a correct answer the same okay is the same for the second because independent the same for the third the same for the fourth uh, if you do the calculation is what is one out of three raised to the fourth power Okay, if you get a uh, fraction, is a one out of, uh, or you use your calculator, three raised to the fourth power is a uh, eighty-one. Okay, or if if they ask you decimal or percentage, see this is around the, like a one percent. Okay, it's around the one percent. It's around the one out of a hundred. See, that's a very small chance. Okay, and this question just tell you if you want to randomly guess. Even the four questions, see, if you want to get the four question correct, it's just the one percent of your chance. Okay, it's very small. And to look at the another questions. And the two more questions would be patient. Okay. And for these questions, if you are going to deal with the two cards successively, keep in mind, I mean the water, going to pick two cards and the one by one successively without replacement okay without the prism remember what that is mean we have the answer before right without the don't put the back is exactly dependent relationship uh, dependent this time is dependent okay dependent that means what we have to use a conditional probability this time okay if I put this here is uh, now we get a is dependent right so first is a dependent keep in mind dependent means what means you have to use the conditional tell yourself is a conditional probability you have to use okay. and then the questions uh, pick uh, two cards pick uh, two cards is two steps right easy to determine two steps one by one pick the first uh, don't put it back and then going to pick the second okay find the probability that the first card is a king the second and then is a queen two steps right how to set up we set up with this the probability they ask is this the first probability times the second probability uh, what the first probability the first is uh, the first step get a, a king right the second step, see, you get the queen. The first step get a king. Second step get it, but be careful. It should be conditional probability. Okay, we're going to the first. Step. Of course, the first is not a conditional probability, right? The first is just a normal. Uh, fifty-two car. How many king do we have? We have four king out of fifty-two in total. Classic model. The second is conditional probability. Okay, yeah, conditional probability. You have to do what? You have to reduce. Remember, the sample space. Don't forget, the sample space means the denominator. You need to get smaller. So look at this. You already picked the one cut out. 
don't put it back. Okay, so now the example space is re reduced to 51 only. Okay, because you pick one out. And then what is the numerate? This is the successful outcome. Successful outcome, how many coin do you need? It's dia left. Oh, of course, it's a four because the first you get a king. Sadia have four queens there. Okay, so can we see this? Uh, be careful about this. This is a reduced. Okay, this is a reduced. Then now do calculation. Do calculation. Uh, use the calculator is a four out of uh, six hundred six to three. If someone asks you for fraction, remember in the calculator we have this function. Okay. We have a frac functions in math, okay, in the Texas instrument 83 or 84 calculator. If they ask you for the decimal, okay, this is already if you directly use the calculator, you will get the decimal number. What is the decimal number? I calculated the point zero zero six, okay. It depends, depends on what the questions. If the question asks you fraction is a fraction. If the question is a decimal, directly use the decimal. And it's a very, very small, right? Very, very small chance. It's a point is a point uh is a point six percentage, right? Less than one percent is a very small chance. Um the last questions so we look at it this uh if I so IRS audit random and select three. Uh, here is a tax. Okay, three tax returns from forty nine returns. However, of which six contains an error. Okay, keep in mind, that. and the six errors are among forty nine total. What's the probability? See the questions. She selects none of those contain error. Means uh, select how many? Select the three. This means what? This means the three steps. Okay, we find the three steps first. Select the one, select the two, select the three, and the each three is no error, right? None of those contain errors. It means what? Uh, it's better to I draw a box for you. So I draw a box. I say this is all the tax returns. How many in total? Mm, so forty-nine in total, right? And then how many errors? If I put this, okay, this is errors. How many? Six. So the left is no error, right? How many tax return? No error. Forty nine minus six, which is forty uh, three. So that's good. Now the questions: Find the chance or the probability. Going to pick a three from where? Not from six, but from. 43 right go to pick from here and you have to pick a three okay how to pick a three so you can do two ways and the one way is directly going to pick a three uh, in one time and the, this is the same as you pick one by one okay and the multiple occasion rule tells us if you see and the pick a three one by one for three step this is the best okay I mean the word pick a three means this means a pick a one you can say pick a one and then the second step pick a one and then the third step pick a one okay and the remember is without replacement why is it without a replacement of course you pick a one don't put it back okay it's so because you you need the three okay you need the three in your hand Okay. Keep in mind that so this tells you what without it tells you something tells you is dependent or independent of course is dependent so this is the most information okay the most important information and now I put it here it says dependent right I say is dependent how many steps just say pick a three so three steps Okay, all we need to do is just uh, use the multiplication, right? So now what do we have? The probability P is uh, the first probability times the second probability times the third probability. 
and then you can do calculation. Uh, make sure the first is the means what? Pick one, right? Pick one from 43. So this is the first the pick, no error. I simply say this, see, from there. And uh, the second probability is the second pick, also no error, okay? And this is the third step. So the third step is the pick, no error. Each probability times the get is the multiplication rule. Um, but be sure, it's dependent on the order. Means this one and this one both you need to use the conditional, right? Use the conditional probability. Conditional probability means reduce the sample space. Now, we look at the first. The first of course normal probability. Uh, total of 49, so classical probability. Among 49, how many no error? The first step, 43 no error. So 43 out of 49 is the first chance you get a no error. However, you pick the first, remember the second pick, you don't have 49, reduce the sample space. Okay, reduce the sample space. How many? Reduce how many? Pick one, we left the 48. And the among 48, how many? No error, because you still need to pick the no error. Uh, 43, you already picked the one, the first step. So 42 left, okay? So here is 42 left, okay? How about the third step? Now you already picked two out, so only left the 47 in total. This is the total sample space reduced. And then how many no error now? You already pick a two, no error. So 43 minus two, you have 41 left. Okay, so this is the setup. Keep in mind, uh, conditional probability means what? It means uh, reduce. Reduce the sample space, see? Each time we reduced. Each time we reduced. Uh, then use your calculator to calculation, I think. So I get this. 0.6698 this is the decimal already and uh, that's all thank you